The Legacy of James Madison, Architect of American Democracy. Today, we delve into the life and contributions of one of America's most influential founding fathers, James Madison. Often overshadowed by his contemporaries like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, Madison's impact on the shaping of American democracy cannot be overstated. From his pivotal role in the drafting of the United States Constitution to his leadership as the fourth president of the United States, James Madison's legacy endures as a cornerstone of American governance and political theory. Early Life and Education James Madison's early life and education provide crucial insights into the development of his political philosophy and his eventual contributions to the formation of the United States. Born on March 16, 1751, in Port Conway, Virginia, James Madison was the eldest son of James Madison Sr. and Nellie Conway Madison. Coming from a wealthy and influential Virginia family, young James had access to education and resources that would shape his future endeavors. Madison's education began at home, under the guidance of private tutors. His father, a prosperous tobacco planter, emphasized the importance of education, instilling in his son a love for learning and a strong sense of civic duty. Madison's early studies focused on classical literature, languages, and philosophy, laying the groundwork for his later intellectual pursuits. At the age of 18, Madison enrolled at the College of New Jersey, now Princeton University, where he furthered his education under the tutelage of renowned scholars such as John Witherspoon. Princeton's rigorous curriculum exposed Madison to a diverse array of subjects, including history, political theory, and natural philosophy. It was during his time at Princeton that Madison developed a keen interest in political philosophy and governance, setting the stage for his future contributions to American politics. Madison's experiences at Princeton also shaped his views on religious freedom and tolerance. Influenced by the teachings of John Witherspoon, a prominent Presbyterian minister and staunch advocate for religious liberty, Madison came to embrace the principle of religious pluralism, believing that government should not interfere in matters of conscience. After completing his studies at Princeton in 1771, Madison returned to Virginia, where he immersed himself in local politics and public service. His early experiences in Virginia's colonial legislature, the House of Burgesses, provided him with first-hand insight into the workings of government and the challenges facing the American colonies. In the years leading up to the American Revolution, Madison's intellectual curiosity and commitment to the cause of liberty propelled him into the forefront of Virginia's revolutionary movement. He became increasingly involved in the struggle against British tyranny, advocating for colonial rights and independence from British rule. Madison's early life and education laid the foundation for his future role as a key architect of American democracy. His intellectual curiosity, combined with his commitment to the principles of liberty and self-government, propelled him onto the national stage, where he would play a pivotal role in shaping the course of American history. The Founding of the United States The founding of the United States was a momentous period in history, marked by intense debate, compromise, and visionary leadership. James Madison played a central role in this transformative era, contributing significantly to the drafting of the United States Constitution and the establishment of the fledgling nation's political institutions. The Constitutional Convention Context and Challenges By the mid-1780s, it became increasingly evident that the Articles of Confederation, the governing document of the newly independent United States, were inadequate to address the nation's needs. Economic instability, interstate conflicts, and a lack of centralized authority threatened the stability of the young republic. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, leaders from across the nation convened in Philadelphia in 1787 for what would become known as the Constitutional Convention. Madison's Role James Madison emerged as a leading figure at the Constitutional Convention, bringing with him a wealth of knowledge and a clear vision for the future of American governance. Drawing upon his experiences in Virginia politics, 
and his extensive study of political theory, Madison played a pivotal role in shaping the debates and discussions that would ultimately produce the United States Constitution. The Virginia Plan At the heart of Madison's contributions to the Constitutional Convention was the Virginia Plan, a comprehensive proposal for a new system of government. The Virginia Plan called for a strong central government with three branches, legislative, executive, and judicial, each with distinct powers and responsibilities. Importantly, it also proposed a bicameral legislature, with representation based on population, thus favoring larger states like Virginia. Compromises and Negotiations The debates at the Constitutional Convention were intense, with delegates from different states holding divergent views on key issues such as representation and the balance of power between the states and the federal government. Madison played a crucial role in negotiating compromises that would bridge these divides, including the Great Compromise, which established a bicameral legislature with equal representation in the Senate and proportional representation in the House of Representatives. The Federalist Papers Following the Constitutional Convention, James Madison, along with Alexander Hamilton and John Jay, embarked on a campaign to promote the ratification of the newly drafted Constitution. Under the pseudonym Publius, the three authors penned a series of essays known as the Federalist Papers, which were published in newspapers across the country. Purpose and Themes The Federalist Papers served as a comprehensive defense of the Constitution, addressing concerns raised by critics and outlining the principles upon which the new government was founded. Madison's contributions to the Federalist Papers were particularly influential as he articulated the necessity of a strong central government to preserve the Union and protect the rights of citizens. The Federalist Papers remain one of the most important works of political theory in American history, offering valuable insights into the intentions of the framers and the underlying principles of the Constitution. Madison's contributions to the Federalist Papers in particular, underscore his commitment to the ideals of republicanism, federalism, and the rule of law. Ratification and Implementation Despite the efforts of Madison and his fellow Federalists, ratification of the Constitution was by no means assured. Opposition from anti-Federalists, who feared an overly powerful central government, threatened to derail the ratification process in several states. In response, Madison and his allies embarked on a concerted campaign to win over skeptical delegates, emphasizing the benefits of a unified government and the protections afforded by the Bill of Rights. In 1788, the Constitution was ratified by the requisite nine states, officially establishing the United States of America as a federal republic. James Madison's contributions to the drafting and ratification of the Constitution ensured that the nation would have a strong foundation upon which to build its future. Presidency and Political Philosophy James Madison's presidency and political philosophy represent a continuation of his lifelong dedication to the principles of republicanism, federalism, and individual rights. As the fourth president of the United States, Madison faced significant challenges both domestically and internationally yet his leadership and adherence to his core principles left a lasting impact on American governance, presidency, election, and early challenges. James Madison assumed the presidency in 1809, succeeding Thomas Jefferson. His presidency began during a period of heightened tension between the United States and Great Britain, culminating in the outbreak of the War of 1812. Madison's initial years in office were marked by diplomatic efforts to avoid conflict, including the implementation of trade restrictions aimed at pressuring Britain and France to respect American sovereignty. War of 1812 Despite Madison's efforts to maintain peace, tensions with Britain continued to escalate, eventually leading to the outbreak of war in June 1812. The War of 1812 presented significant challenges for the young nation, including military setbacks, economic disruptions, and internal divisions. Madison's leadership during the war, 
was characterized by a commitment to defending American interests and preserving national sovereignty, despite the formidable challenges facing the country. Legacy of the War The War of 1812 ended in 1815 with the signing of the Treaty of Ghent, which restored peace between the United States and Britain. While the war did not result in significant territorial gains or strategic victories for either side, it solidified American independence and bolstered national pride. Madison's leadership during the conflict reinforced his reputation as a steadfast defender of American interests and laid the groundwork for the nation's future growth and prosperity. Political Philosophy, Republicanism, and Limited Government Throughout his political career, James Madison remained committed to the principles of republicanism, which emphasized the sovereignty of the people and the importance of limited government. Madison believed that a strong central government was necessary to preserve the Union and protect individual rights, yet he also recognized the dangers of unchecked power. His advocacy for a system of checks and balances, with separate branches of government sharing power, reflected his belief in the need for accountability and restraint. Federalism and states' rights Madison's political philosophy was also grounded in a commitment to federalism, the principle that power should be divided between the federal government and the states. He believed that a balance of power between the two levels of government was essential to safeguarding liberty and preventing tyranny. Madison's support for states' rights was evident in his defense of the Tenth Amendment, which reserved powers not delegated to the federal government, to the states, or the people. Protection of Individual Rights Central to Madison's political philosophy was a deep concern for the protection of individual rights. He played a key role in drafting the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the Constitution, which guarantee fundamental liberties such as freedom of speech, religion, and assembly. Madison believed that these rights were essential to preserving the dignity and autonomy of the individual and should be safeguarded against government infringement. James Madison's presidency and political philosophy left an indelible mark on American history, shaping the course of governance and political discourse for generations to come. His steadfast leadership during the War of 1812 reinforced the nation's commitment to independence and sovereignty, while his advocacy for Republican principles and individual rights laid the foundation for America's democratic system of government. As we reflect on Madison's legacy, we are reminded of the enduring importance of defending the principles of liberty, justice, and equality that he championed throughout his life. Legacy and Influence James Madison's legacy and influence extend far beyond his lifetime, leaving an indelible mark on American governance, political theory, and the broader fabric of society. From his pivotal role in the founding of the United States to his enduring contributions to the principles of democracy and individual rights, Madison's legacy continues to shape the course of American history and inspire generations of leaders and thinkers. Architect of American Democracy Framing the Constitution James Madison's contributions to the framing of the United States Constitution are perhaps his most enduring legacy. As the principal architect of the Constitution, Madison played a central role in shaping the document's structure, principles, and mechanisms of governance. His vision of a balanced government with separate branches, each serving as a check on the others, laid the foundation for American democracy and has served as a model for constitutional governance around the world. Federalist Ideals Madison's advocacy for federalist ideals, including the importance of a strong central government balanced by state sovereignty, remains a cornerstone of American political theory. His defense of federalism and states' rights helped to shape the relationship between the federal government and the states, ensuring a balance of power that has endured for over two centuries. The Federalist Papers, Advocacy for Ratification In addition to his contributions to the Constitutional Convention, James Madison played a key role in advocating for the ratification of the Constitution. Alongside Alexander Hamilton and John Jay, 
Madison authored a series of essays known as the Federalist Papers, which were published in newspapers across the country. These essays provided a comprehensive defense of the Constitution, addressing concerns raised by critics and outlining the principles upon which the new government was founded. Influence on Political Thought The Federalist Papers remain one of the most important works of political theory in American history, offering valuable insights into the intentions of the framers and the underlying principles of the Constitution. Madison's contributions to the Federalist Papers, in particular, underscore his commitment to the ideals of republicanism, federalism, and the rule of law, influencing generations of political thinkers and policymakers. Defender of Individual Rights, Bill of Rights, James Madison's commitment to protecting individual rights was evident in his role in drafting the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the Constitution. Madison believed that these rights were essential to preserving the dignity and autonomy of the individual and should be safeguarded against government infringement. His advocacy for the inclusion of a Bill of Rights helped to secure the ratification of the Constitution and ensured that fundamental liberties such as freedom of speech, religion, and assembly were enshrined in the nation's founding document. Legacy of Liberty Madison's legacy as a defender of individual rights and civil liberties continues to resonate in contemporary debates over the role of government and the rights of citizens. His principled commitment to liberty, justice, and equality serves as a guiding light for those who seek to uphold the values upon which the United States was founded. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video.